getting to know what it's like to be in the military before committing to the military is is a priceless opportunity. One red, one white, move. Good, good. Cadets, say goodbye to your parents now. You'll see them next at graduation. Your training begins now. I was so nervous that first day. I had no idea that these two weeks would change my life forever. Upon arrival, you quickly realize that training is no easy task. The unknown. It's both exciting and frightening. So once again, anything else you think might not be okay? Immediately after I walked into that door, after saying goodbye to my parents, and that rush of thoughts filled my head. Did I do something wrong? Where do I go? Why am I here? And what had I gotten myself into? Welcome to summer training. All of you are here because you want to learn. You want to become better leaders and better cadets. To make sure that you succeed, nobody here wants you to fail. That is up to you. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir! Getting up at 4 a.m. and getting used to it yeah. for PT. Normally, I don't wake up at 4 a.m. and go directly to exercising. PT comes early, and Reveille, even earlier. Dedication. You have to be dedicated to, to the Sea Cadets and to your job. Enjoy it, make the most of it. My greatest memory in the Sea Cadets was the second day of boot camp. We had already been settled into our barracks, we were getting to know our RDCs better, and we were getting to know our fellow recruits. At this point, I knew that the people I met and the experiences I was about to endure were things that I would never forget for as long as I live. But PT, class, marching, and meals soon became a routine, a routine I loved. Being a league cadet is knowing that you're part of something like bigger than yourself. Giving cadets the chance to learn skills from around the fleet grants them the opportunity to not just dream about their futures, but test them out. One of the incredible things about Sea Cadets is its ability to train cadets in so many different capacities. Now a Chief Petty Officer, I've completed eight different trainings, including seamanship aboard the USS New Jersey, Petty Officer Leadership Academy in Rhode Island, Field Operations in Connecticut, and the International Exchange to India. 
staying motivated throughout trainings is again remembering why you're there. I'm down! The key to helping others stay motivated is understanding where everyone else is coming from and knowing that not everyone is as strong as you, that some are stronger than you. Forward. Oh. Forward. Forward, guys, come on, we're almost there. <laughs> we're over halfway. Fun, exhilarating, and meeting new people. We've all like, been good friends, had a blast with each other, and just made great times. If I'm at this Seek It Out training, my goal is to make everyone I encounter better. So I stay motivated through knowing that they're going to follow me and they're going to look up to me to make them better than they were when they got here. The most emotional part about Sea Cadets is watching a bunch of great people come together and work as a team. And day by day we get to watch each other grow individually and as a team to come together and do wonderful things. My most memorable secret at moment is working directly with the family of Lieutenant Michael Murphy, a deceased Medal of Honor recipient, and honoring his legacy through the Sea Cadets. You make lifelong friends in the Sea Cadets, people that you have faced great adversity with and triumphed. It's a deep bond, a brotherhood. My greatest Sea Cadet memory was when I was on a Sea Cadet International Exchange to Mumbai, India. One night, all of the international cadets, officers, and delegates got dressed up in traditional Indian attire. Some Indian Sea Cadets performed traditional Indian dances, and we had a beautiful dinner outside, looking onto the Arabian Sea. Throughout the exchange, I had the pleasure of working with Sea Cadets from all corners of the globe. Sea Cadets is not only a family here in the U.S., but it is also an international family. I find keeping an open mind is important um, and understanding the different backgrounds of everyone you encounter and how it affects their training and how they act because the ability to interact with people is key in this work, in this training. I think the most rewarding part of Sea Cadets is being able to teach other people what you've learned. Like being able to teach other people how to be a follower and how to listen to instructions and finally being able to see them form, forming into a leader. The best thing about having a shipmate, in my opinion, is like it's a family away from your family. It's when you, you know that you can trust them you know that they'll save your life or do something just because you're a team and that's just it's like it's like having your own little family especially if you're homesick it's it's really hard for a lot of people and then when you have that comfort from your other shipmates you know that you can trust them my shipmates are like my brother and my, my brothers and my sisters they're like extended family instead of parts of me You get to learn a lot of things about your country's military and get to meet a lot of other people. I've been with them at least two years. Be, be proud to be a leader. It's better to be a leader because you get to show people your knowledge. You get to learn a lot of stuff. You get to see what you can do to the point of teaching other cadets. The greatest sea cadet memory I had was going through the battle stations with my team. It brought us closer as a unit and made us work together for the obstacles we had to face. Don't give up. That's my advice to new cadets is that you, you are never 
out of the fight like you think you may be. If you think you're done, if you think it's time to quit, it's only time to quit when you finally give up on yourself. So you should never give up on yourself. Don't drop it! Come on guys, we all hold it. It'll be lighter. I think the most rewarding thing about Sea Cadets, or this recruit training, was the fact that I'd be able to go home and make my family proud. I've grown as a leader because I learned what to do and what not to do. Up the tire, you got this. Let's go. Up the tire. Let's go. Get this guy there. You got it. Stay with me. The emotional part is just gay along with everyone, learning to love your crew like a brother and just getting together. Seeing their faces when they see me up there would be the best thing ever. But the best thing about Sea Cadets was being able to meet all these different people and they quickly became some of the best friends I've had and their family already after two weeks. The U.S. Naval Sea Cadet Corps has shepherded thousands of cadets since its inception in 1962. In 2016 alone, we served 13,597 cadets from around the country and in Guam and Puerto Rico. That's more cadets than ever before. Since its humble beginnings over 50 years ago, we have sought to teach our cadets the values of honor, courage, and commitment while letting them learn, lead, and excel among their peers. So many cadets come back later and thank me for their opportunities in the Sea Cadets. They truly feel that their experiences shaped their lives and contributed to their successes. We've taken kids from all types of environments, from inner city to well-to-do, and made them cadets who have truly lived honor, courage, and commitment. They take those values back to their communities and influence those around them. They truly are the leaders of today and tomorrow. Being part of the Sea Cadets is being part of something greater than yourself. It is honoring the memory of the servicemen and women who have made the brave sacrifice to serve our country. It is having the courage to step out of your comfort zone and do what is right, not what is easy. It is being committed to the men and women you work alongside and dedication to the United States of America. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over institutions of learning. I stand guard with power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I am arrogant. I am proud. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am saluted. I am loved. I am revered. I am respected. I am feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. I was flown at Valley Forge, Gettysburg, Shiloh, and Appomattox. I was there at San Juan Hill, the trenches in France, in the Argonne Forest, Enzio, Rome, and the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Korea, and Kazan, Saigon, Vietnam know me. I was there. I led my troops. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired but my soldiers cheered me and I was proud. I have been burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries I have helped set free, but it does not hurt for I am invincible. I have been soiled upon, burned, torn, and trampled in the streets of my country. And when it's done by those whom I've served in battle, it hurts, but I shall overcome for I am strong. 
I have slipped the bonds of Earth and stood watch over the uncharted frontiers of space from my vantage point on the moon. I have borne silent witness to all of America's finest hours. But my finest hours are yet to come. When I am torn into strips and used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the battlefield, when I am flown at half-mast to honor my soldier, or when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving parent at the grave of their fallen son or daughter, I am proud. I am the flag of the United States of America. <laughs>